Greetings, my gardening friends. Welcome to another video update from my garden. Now, it's only been about six days since my last update. Um, and you'll see how much everything has grown in since then. And it looks so good, I thought I would take a video. It's about four o'clock on Monday, the day after Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. My kids actually gave me a really wonderful Mother's Day and then my brother spoiled us with a fabulous dinner. I got to spend the night playing games with my family. So it was a lot of fun. It was a really, really great day. Better than I expected. So I just thought we would take a walk around and just look at all the growth. It just looks amazing. We've had incredible weather, like I've been indicating in the past videos. This weather has been so favorable. So, my bird bath I just discovered has a hole in it, and I tried to repair it, but it still has a hole in it. So, I'm just gonna go back to the shop for repair. But here's my back door, and when you come out, in the back door, you look out, that's the chamomile that I keep pointing to because it's capturing my attention. It's so beautiful. I am about to, I want to take a video before I harvest all the chamomile because you'll see it's everywhere. And it's time, I already went around and I harvested the first round and I've got that drying already. And now it's time for the next round. And right there is an olive tree that Frank got me, it's just a baby. We're letting it grow. Over here I have a little baby fig. Frank also got me. He's been really incredible in adding different things for me. Every once in a while I'll just come home with something different. Oh, I see my coffee mug over there. We just took off the top cover, the hoop house cover, to let everything get sun because the weather is finally favorable. Enough for that and everything that I have. Why not add everything? There's two rows there that haven't germinated yet. But my other things that I put in there are beginning to germinate and they look good. So I'll be picking them out, putting them in pots and then dispersing them around. And let me just show you over here so you can see more chamomile. Very exciting. You can tell I love chamomile. And the sage. I really, really can't get enough sage. Look at this. So beautiful. There's the tribes. This lettuce here is getting ready to flower. It's gonna be beautiful. We have the roses also getting ready to bloom. But some are actually blooming. I bloomed today. So beautiful. And then we have the daisies. They started blooming, I believe, yesterday. And the same thing with the sweet William. Some of them are starting to bloom, not all of them. And this is another variety of sweet William called Rainbow Loveliness. There's the snow in summer, and that's a perennial. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? There's my collard greens that are flowering, and I'm gonna save those seeds. You can see all the seeds that are there. They're not mature yet, though. We'll let them stay there a while and dry. And there's my carrot bed. Everything looks dry here, but I did water everything real good this morning. But it's just been sunny all day. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. You can see the colors starting to come in. The pollinator strip, hooray. The beans are getting bigger, look at that. That's the corn. The corn is also getting bigger. It's 
so I'm hoping that the beans will be able to wrap around the corn. And there's corn in both rows. Or in the front and the back of the beans here. We got some more daisies blooming along with some more sweet william. And then in here, you can see the trees are filling in. And then we've got some roses that bloomed. And the lettuce is just getting bigger and bigger and we're eating away at that. Some blackberries. Let's see the blackberries here. Let's get my shadow out of the way. There's the baby blackberries. Yay. Oh, and the peas. Now, what is wrong with this? My, my camera's not focusing. Oh, look at that. Snow and summer over there. Isn't that cool? And there's tons of peas on there. And in between there, we've got all the radishes. Over here, we're eating all this purple broccoli already. So delicious. And then the strawberries. The strawberries are ripening, but the bugs are getting them. The little pill bugs. Uh, I have to get them before the bugs and before the bunnies. They come, they take a bite. And the nice sweet ones, but they're so good. And look at these pinks. And the yarrow is getting ready to bloom back there. The blueberries are getting bigger. And I believe this is all Coreopsis right here. Kind of crowded in there. I do have to thin that out because it's crowding in my blueberry bushes. And the fennel is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and I keep taking it and harvesting it and drying it. I hang this to dry. That's the way it dries the best. And uh, when it's in this phase, like I, this is another one that I have to harvest as well as the parsley. There's a lot of parsley all over. And here's some more. Now this gets nice shade most of the day, but now it gets evening sun. So I'm on, there's the sun all the way up there. And so this side is getting a little dose of sun, but normally it's shady. So it's been good for these, these lettuces here and the other stuff I got. And then over here is the meditation garden looks absolutely wonderful more chamomile you can see and this oregano I have to harvest this there's oregano like this everywhere so that's another one I'll be harvesting We've got echinacea right there Canterbury bells can't wait for that that's so beautiful and these are lilies. Look at that shape. Isn't that cool? Right here, we've got morning glories. Oh, well, I've got my mizuna seeds that I'm saving, which is what they are. And then down here, I have all different morning glories and then some borage and then lettuce and other different flowers oh look at the foxglove <gasps> that opened today oh I just love these listen to the birds they're so happy here And then over here, well, here's some more of the rainbow loveliness. Now these also just opened. They seem to all open at the same time. It's a different color there and there's another color. Some more chamomile. Here's my Jerusalem artichoke. And another foxglove. Now you can see all these. All of these are gonna be and planted this bed. Everything's growing in nicely. Got my eggplant, 
tomato, peppers, back there. It's another garden that I'm trying to finish. I got some broccoli and lettuce and stuff over there. And then here's my mullein. It's getting ready to get its center stalk. I'm so excited. I think it's going to flower this year. I forget when I put that there. But uh, that's, that's really beautiful. And then I have foxglove and sunflower and zinnias and there's some more parsley that I'll be harvesting. And this is larkspur with some more chamomile. And then this over here, another sweet William. Look at this. Is the camera picking this up? Because this is so cool. And the color of this is just amazing. I'm not sure how well this can pick this up. I don't know. We'll see when we reveal it, if it's good. And then the rhododendron. That's all opening. It's really enjoying this very warm weather. And then I have lemon balm there to harvest. And the lavender is coming in. Look at that. That was really fast. All my lavenders are beginning to bloom. And there's a new one I have for this year. And columbine. I have columbines everywhere. This one's a lemon. I think I have purple and lemon over there. So I have them all over. And these are getting taller. My peas are growing up there. All the morning glory is also growing up there. Different things. Beans. I put all kinds of stuff in there. Let's see what grows. Anything to just cover that over. We'll see how it does. So over in this area, I still have more planning to do. More cleaning out. And you can see there, I have to put them in the ground. But I'm trying to just take some time to relax and enjoy this because this is non-stop work and I, I have to just take some time to enjoy it. And like all this color and beauty, it's amazing. And the food that's growing is equally as amazing. And see, even those, those flowers, this is kohlrabi. I'm not, I have to research. I'm not sure it's supposed to flower, but I've been eating those flowers as soon as they do that. And same thing with the choy over there when it flowers. I just eat the flowers. It tastes like broccoli. It's amazing. Any of the flowers that are out here, even the broccoli rob and the brassicas that are over there, you just eat them. They're so good. All right, well, I think I went everywhere. This yard, I just, I'm so happy with it. I, I'm just beside myself. And later on today, we're getting together with the kids. They're doing their thing right at the moment and her friends are gonna come over and we're gonna have a little barbecue and uh, play some games that we have in the yard. So I'm really excited and looking forward to that. So until the next video, I hope this inspires you to get out and make your backyard a fun and inviting space for your kids and for your family or even for yourself even for yourself make a place of rest and recovery and relaxation and you will love it all right well until the next video we'll see you then bye bye